I don't think there's uh, any more civvies, right? Because that would imply that one of them is a faceless. Alright, Katarn, I think, is gonna have to move the fuck up. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to sprint with stealth. Over here. Okay, I'll go. Because the dream right now is rescuing the the last civvy. That's the dream, guys. I'm, I'm just keeping myself on, uh... Okay, Adam will just overwatch here. Uh, I guess Pat will just chill out here. Or, he's actually not really in good cover right now. But, there really isn't anything better for him at the moment, so... Let's move into the cover again. Moving to overwatch. Kyle needs to get, I think... Closer though. What is Zan? Moving to position. I think Zan needs to reload though. But Moving I'm gonna to I'm gonna have him on Overwatch just because I really want to save that Civ. Like you would not believe. Got it covered. The Civvy. I could reload with myself, but it just oh, yeah, right now I need to long watch. Oh god, he's gonna get No, it's a faceless actually. Interestingly enough. Where's the last person then? Is that them? I unfortunately have to reload now. Yeah, okay, I was under the impression we we were already we had the last person there, but I'm gonna have to look around the map a little bit more. Right, these guys are both kind of fucking dead. And I think stealth is fucking dead too. Oh, hello, sexy beast. Uh, let's, let's just have another just kind of scan around the map. We know there's one more person that we haven't saved. Are they over here? Okay, I'm just gonna make my assumption that they're either, like, they're probably behind here somewhere. Thank fuck for that. Uh, let's get a fire pistol. Oh wow, 100% chance to hit. Nice. So, I killed a guy on low ground, right? Does that count as a free action? How many actions do I have left? Uh, no, that apparently ended my act- uh, ended my turn. Alright, I probably wouldn't have done that then. Whatever, it's okay. We'll, we'll be able to kill these guys. Maybe not. Because this person kind of missed. Gonna need to reload soon. Okay, we're gonna fucking grenade the shit out of this guy. I, I, I'm just gonna tell you that now. Where's Katarn? We need your, uh, sex- sex expertise. Actually, this is pretty good. I'm surprised he even has this shot, actually. Apparently the faces are pretty tall. Did you see that one? We all did. We're all we're all proud of you. Alright, what else do I have? Pat has a acid grenade too. Okay. Apparently can't shoot him from there. This fucking guy. Okay, you know what? Fuck this guy, honestly. I'm i Oh wait, the civvy's right there. Nice. Uh, but this is a grenade, so now I'm kind of worried. But I think I shouldn't be that worried. On the move. Question is, can Zan get a shot off? All right, we're gonna grenade. He's like right here, I think. Shouldn't touch the civvy. It should just end the mission, even if the guy falls. It's an incinerator grenade too. It's just gonna set things on fire. Just gonna get a bit warm. Right? No? I'm on it. No? Game, please? On my way. Oh, he's right there, fucking asshole. How dare you not get hit by that? 
Okay, I may, I may have been a bit off of my estimations here, but I'm fucking doing with this guy now. Well, that was a close one, guys. One five status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Dude, I want that guy to be on my squad just because he's like the master of stealth. He remained the entire time in that area, and nothing fucking happened to him. He's the true hero of this mission. John Doe. Oh boy. Okay, that was a bit on the difficult side. Just because we were losing people left and right, and it was just fucking whatever. You know, I forgot to mention though. Um, apparently my... Uh, the soldiers I have with the heavy rocket launcher stuff, apparently they don't benefit at all from having... Like, their, their explosives don't get any better. Uh, but I don't know. I guess I guess I'd want them to have it anyways, just because I don't know if I want another grenade. I think I'd rather them have that, because everybody else, like Zan, who's our specialist, benefits from two inventory slots. I don't want my stealth soldier breaking out of stealth just to fire a rocket. Although, I mean, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But the spider suit gives her more mobility. So, all right. Apparently, I didn't get wounded. Oh, Katarn did. Uh, oh, here we go. This is the last level. So. Serial, a powerful chain shot ability. For every kill you made with your sniper rifle, your actions will be refunded. Or fire your pistol three times at the same target. Um, this one's pretty strong, I hear. Because it's like, you do like that three or four damage or something, and then that you times that by three. So you basically, it's like a one sniper shot almost, you know? No, no. The sniper does two times more damage than the pistol does. And so it's like a little bit better than a sniper shot. But you have to be within pistol range. Uh, but since I'm making a pure sniper, that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna try it, cause, you know, I- I thought actually kill zone would be garbage, but it ended up actually being really good, so the same could be for this. So it basically says, a chain, um, Serial's meant to chain enemy kills within a single action. Every kill is essentially free. Every successful kill, however, does result in a reduction in critical chance, and has a four turn cooldown. That actually doesn't sound that good, but I could be completely wrong, so, yeah. Uh, advanced Warfare Center, untouchable. If you bit, if you score a kill during your turn, the next attack against you during that, the enemy turn will miss. Okay, I guess that's kind of good for Zen. So here we go. Um, every vigilance, if you spend all your uh, turn actions and moves, you're granted an automatic overwatch at the end of the turn. Or with every successful overwatch shot, there's a 50% chance another shot will be taken. Uh... Uh, okay, this is kind of tough, because, okay. I don't really spend all my moves on, on all, all my actions on moves, because it's basically like you sprint. Like, I can't do aid protocol, I can't do, I can't shoot, I can't do anything. That's what kind of makes me think Ever Vigilant isn't that good. Um, especially the way I've been using Zen. I, I, I don't think I've ever sprinted him, but you can then now, I guess, sprint someone if you're just planning on overwatching them anyways. Uh... But I'm gonna take the, this one. I don't know how often he hits his guard, uh, his Overwatch shot, but I guess another Overwatch shot would be pretty nice. It's not very medic or ha it's not related to hacking or medicing either one. It's kind of weird actually. All right, so this is stealth. Stealth can get if you scored more one or more kills during your turn, you were granted a single bonus turn, or free sword attacks on any any enemies that enter or attack from melee range. Uh, okay, well. I'm gonna get probably implacable because the thing with Blade Storm is that I didn't do Blade Master. I didn't do more damage on sword attacks, so it just seems to me like being able to shoot and scoot, especially in that last mission, I was like right in front of that fucking guy. And so I think being able to move out of that if the situation was dire would probably be better. Um, once again, none of the options are related to stealth, which is kind of odd to me, but whatever. Alright, so we got a bunch of shit here. And we got a Berserker autopsy. Hello, Commander. Wow, that was, uh... That was fucking tough, dude. Alright, so, to start us off... Uh, what am I doing? Resistance comms. I think I, I think I filled up this with engineers before. But I totally didn't fucking do it again, because I had to reload it, as you guys know. But now I, now I did it, so that's fine. Uh, oh yeah, so okay, so we're doing the skull mining, so that's gonna give us, I think, the ability to actually use our fucking skull shit like normally. 
So there's that. Um, also, okay, so there's been a couple of, th couple of developments since uh, we've last uh, had a nice discussion, guys, uh, which I will go on about, I guess, right now. Uh, okay, so the laboratory. I was really curious about this because I'm like, okay, so my confusion before. I am still hard at work on the current research Shut up, Doctor Tag or whatever. Okay, I was confused because whenever I went, I, I think I went to this screen and I just saw available and I, I thought of them as engineers. I'm like, oh, they're not assigned to anything, so I thought they weren't doing anything. Working at the Advent clinics, I saw medical breakthroughs that would have been considered nothing short of miraculous at any time before the aliens' arrival. The elderly and infirm so revitalized with a single treatment that they were often brought to tears. It's a powerful, powerful thing the aliens have developed. Perhaps their most insidious creation of all. For my part in it, I remain deeply conflicted. Alright, so, the thing about the lab, so I, I assumed that they weren't actually speeding up research. Apparently they are, because the thing was, I, the reason why I was confused was, at the beginning, whenever I got a scientist, it said, speeds up research by 50%. Um, apparently that is actually happening. It, it is speeding up research by 50% for every, uh, every fucking scientist you get. Now, it says here, because I'm assigning it, it's stacking another 17%. Uh, and then obviously I can get another one, I assume that's another 17% on top of it, for constructing a lab. It doesn't really tell you the math around this, and it's very confusing, because from my perspective, obviously, the resources that went into the lab were probably not worth it, because it's consuming both power and it took supplies to make it in the first place, and it's also, like, taking up a valuable slot where I could have had a Psy station or some other fucking, or that shadow chamber or whatever. That's what I mean. Um, from what someone described, so I, I don't think anybody truly knows how it works, but from what's been described to me, apparently each scientist has diminishing returns so it's not actually not speeding it up by 50% the game doesn't really tell you that um, the lab however is not constrained by those rules uh, I still don't know and don't think if it's really worth it at this moment I don't think I should have made the lab in fact I don't even think I should have made the workshop to be honest I think the workshop shit too and I'll tell you why uh, because it's it's it has to do with the amount of resources because it's taking like this workshop is taking up uh, I can't actually tell uh, Oh, yeah, okay, so like getting out of the slot here takes a hundred supplies I use an engineer here essentially and then like I, I basically have to waste time You know building it and then I have to waste time ha having it powered, you know because the, the, the power relays cost resources so Why not just buy another fucking engineer? I mean, the difference has to be like 50 supplies, and this thing is like taking up a slot once again. Because, like, these slots are worth something. Um, like, so you're essentially making an engineer into two people. Uh, so, like, I have an engineer here, it makes two gremlins. Like, if this had some sort of bonus where, like, oh, maybe I had the gremlin here and it, like, gave extra power, it would be worth it. It really doesn't seem worth it to me at all. Because it's just like, the time I spent making it and the supplies I, meant I, I took in doing it, I would have just bought another fucking um, engineer with that. Like, like, because I have to have someone staffing, and I have someone have to have someone clearing out these things. Because it takes fucking days for this to happen. The same, the same works for the laboratory. I think the laboratory is even worse than the workshop, actually, because it's like seventy percent bonus when they normally get fifty percent to begin with. What the fuck? Like, I don't know. It just doesn't seem worth it to me. Um, but you can sue me for all I care. Um, so we're gonna actually go to the grill tactics school. But first of all, I'm actually gonna go to the black market. Uh, what the fuck is this? I get alien alloys if we go there. I will not do that right now. Uh, cause we have- I'm gonna go to Black Market first. So that's that, um... Yeah, uh, I think that was all I think I really had thoughts about. I mean, this is a blind run, so you're gonna have to forgive me, it could be wrong. Okay, so you see these alien data caches? Fuck these things. I don't care if they're worth something. Fuck you. Cause that's a lot of supplies. That's like a lot of supplies. I just I just decided I, I don't even give I don't, I don't give a shit. I get I get them occasionally. Fuck them. And with that, we're gonna go to the Gorilla Tactics School. Is it the Tactics School? Yes, it is. Okay. So uh, we are going to do some of these things that actually give us like a um like kind of one of those things that's like an early reward kind of a thing. Like uh, what, what should I say? Um. Things if you invest on in early, you get, like, better stuff out of it. Because I probably should have done this earlier. So, Vulture, uh, gain, uh, additional item with every time loot drop? Sure, let's do that. 
Uh, lightning Strike probably isn't the best. Through mobility I don't need. More experience, don't mind if I do. Alright, and now we're officially out of fucking money almost, but that's fine. Uh, there's Grenaders. Inspo explosives can inflict critical damage. Attacks against flanked enemies deal plus 3 damage. Eh. Uh, plus 10 bonus to critically hit enemies. I would normally do that, although I don't think I have the supplies for it. And plus 10 aim and ability to critical shot, uh, critical hit while taking overwatch and uh, reaction shots. That's also kind of nice. I don't think I should do that right now, though. Soldiers will be more likely to bleed out than die outright. I think I should get that. Uh, so let's go sell some additional stuff to the black market. I don't think there's anything else I really want to make with supplies, although now that I think about it. Uh, I think I'm 13 days on that, and four, 4 days on that. Nah, fuck it. We're gonna sell some more shit. I'm also talking very quickly. I don't know why. I'm very excited right now. I got excited easily. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you see, the thing with the corpses is that I've realized that, like, everything requires corpses these days, so it's, like, really retarded. I, I don't want to sell alloys. Sell some sectoids, fuck them. I think that's all I need. Alright, let's get that other bonus now. So, I, I may have made some grave errors right now, but fuck you, it's fine. Oh, uh, actually, let's see, view soldiers, what's this? Oh, apparently can got upgraded? Why? What the fuck? When, why did he get upgraded? Did, did, maybe I just missed it when he was on some mission. Or something, I don't know. Alright, so we got Salvo... Uh, launching or throwing grenades with your or using he oh okay so maybe okay so maybe the fucking heavy weapons on on these guys isn't so bad this is like the first thing I think I've seen that they benefit from heavy weapons now like because I, I just gave it to them naturally because I'm like I don't know if having another grenade will do anything but like because they like they seem to have just enough grenades for these missions because I can I have heavy ordnance too. So I'm like, I think rockets would be a good option on them too. But now this makes it super worth it, Salvo. Uh, although you can unleash a hail of bullets guaranteed to hit your target but use a lot of ammunition. Uses three ammo, ammo points and has a five turn cooldown. Or Salvo, which I can do it every time. So, grenades are prime candidates for heavy armor. I kind of assumed that, but I didn't know why. I just kind of like, I don't know. They have anything else. Hair trigger. Plus, it has a 10% chance that the shot will not cost an action for an active turn. And first two reloads for a mission do not cost an action. Alright, so that's good enough for that. This has been a very long fucking episode, hasn't it? Okay, uh, let's let's start wrapping this up then. Uh, I think I was gonna... No, 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 I have 150 space bucks. Let's go and uh, get that last thing at the Grill Tactics School, where people don't die immediately. Do that. I'd rather them bleed out. Like, because they really don't live, like, at all. It's really, actually irritating. Alright, so skull mining is almost done. Then resistance comes, and then supply drops. So, I think alien alloys might be nice. How much intel do I have? I have a lot of intel, so fuck that shit. I, okay, those PDAs I sold, I can only assume that I can, that those are, like, Avenger plotting new I, I think those are basically, I research them and I get a lot of intel from them. So by selling them for, because they really wanted it, I assume that for selling them for a high price, then I'm good. Like, I get a lot of money out of it, so. Here's our skull mining. What the fuck were we going? Okay, uh, so we could do anything we want. Let's do experimental. How many cores? We only have one core left. Only one fucking core. So let's do this. Pick this, word when the project is complete. Pick this guy off here. Put him onto this. Because I really don't like. I really don't need fucking that many people in this. It's like, like heavy weapons, just not that important. Actually, it is that important. It is important to me now. I just assume, I, just, I just fucking changed my mind. I want a heavy weapon. Who can I take off? Oh uh, well, both the fucking workshop gremlins are doing that. Carter, get off here. Get back, get back up there. I want the fucking heavy weapon. Yeah. Good job, Carter, you piece of shit. Alright. And... Now we're just gonna do this some more. Resistance communications facility now operational. New staff slot available. Increases resistance concept. Uh, yeah, I assume that. New facility. 
Oh boy, it looks like the fucking map room from the first XCOM or whatever. Or I, I say first XCOM, I don't mean the DOS one. I meant the fucking enemy unknown. So increases contacts by two. Okay. We don't need anybody for that right now because we have a free slot. Which means that we'll probably go right now and just fucking just kind of chill and make it get make another fucking resistance contact now that we have this. Apparently upgrading it will require a lot of supplies. Fucking four power. That's why I want to go to the other continent, because that will give me like free five power. Because that sounds amazing. Alright. And we also hate Australia, so... I just decided this, so we want to go make sure Australia's suffering. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Alright. So let's see. Alien scientists make great strides in Avatar Project, at instantly adding one block to the progress meter. Uh, or we can get uh, aliens improve their threat response and reinforce. Okay, reinforcements I never really cared about. I don't know. I could just fuck. I have a lot of intel for this. Let's see what happens when I reveal it. Oh, uh, this is the padding for the armor. So. I don't, none of this I really care about, though. I'm like. Like, they can have all three of this for all I give a fuck. Like, I, I guess we'll do this thing, the minor breakthrough, whenever we get the chance. Okay, ignore that for now, because we're going to just finish up this thing. Oh boy, 30 fucking six alloys. We still have a supply drop, yes, I know. So I'm, I'm gonna go for that next, okay? No. Avenger plotting new course. This game needs to chill out with these, like, random supply drops. Like, 36 supplies? Like, are you fucking kidding? I was so not worried about for, like, six days. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. Alright, what's this do? Uh, I can do plasma rifle and powered armor. And we get an Illyrium condu conduit. The fuck does that do? I guess that's a power facility? Greatly increase the power relays output. Oh, sweet. That's an upgrade. Oh, good. I don't have to fucking remake things constantly. That's the best. Alright, so, uh, what do we want? Do we want fucking sweet armor or do we want sweet guns? And I'm gonna almost say we want the sweet guns. I don't, I, I don't care about these autopsies, really. Although the autopsies sometimes have something. I want fucking guns, though. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. We totally want guns. I think someone's time to do one of the fucking autopsies. I think the Muton one, but fuck it, we'll wait. Alright, we got whatever this was. Resistance will get additional supplies in a couple weeks. We have new staff. Setting have a look at that. For sector 10, Eastern United States. Let's, let's see what they got here. Welcome, Commander. I don't need any of this. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, the people cost, like, about 200. Maybe the lab and the workshop make a difference in, like, I don't know, one of the higher difficulties. But I'm playing on, like, the second highest one, so I don't really know. Alright, there's a stock. Laser sight. Oh, shit, I totally want a laser sight. I've got a laser sight. Superior conditioning. Uh, I guess this gives more health. Uh, uh, this, I buy this for intel, though. Perception. Let's do the perception one. Uh, uh, let's see, wanna uh, focus? Sure. Alright, that's good enough for me, fuck it. We will... Uh, let's have a look at that right now, actually. What, that, what the fuck that all does. So I, I, I gave my other soldier... I gave myself whatever, not other soldier. I gave myself perception. Oh, then I already have a perception thing then. Let's see what the, the thing does. I think it's a scope. Laser sight. Increases critical chance by 15%. Improving even even further with proximity to a target. Okay, that's something not that I don't want then. I don't want any of this to be honest. I like my aim and I like my magazine. Both are very good. So that's not for me. Uh, it's probably for stealth actually. But stealth doesn't fucking use any of this shit. Alright. Oh shit. F fucking 15 aim and focus. Okay, both these are fucking useless. Holy shit. I can't believe I fucking did this. I'm really sad at myself, but I think I want to give myself the aim one. That's actually a really nice one. 
don't know, because it's like fucking 7 a.m. and then I can get like, because fucking my sniper is like the strongest thing right now. Yeah, I, I don't care. Fucking get the good aim one. I don't know. I don't know about the rest of them. I'll fucking equip it later, maybe. I haven't decided who's going to get the rest of the stuff, but it, I, that was completely worthless for me to buy. I just didn't know what it was, so I was like, whatever. All right, let's go to, let's go to East Asia. Or as I like to call it. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Called India. The, the obviously, I don't know. I don't know many jokes about India. To establish local regional contact. Oh, hooray! We got a flamethrower. Guys, I'm fucking so happy we got that. All right, we got some bullshit here. Let's view the room. All right, we're gonna build. Fuck the shadow chamber. We're gonna build the Scilab. I totally want a Scilab. Commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. No one cares. All right, power relay. What can what, we can upgrade it to? Uh, apparently, this requires Illyrium crystals. I additional workstation. Apparently, uh, apparently, I should do that first, though. What the fuck? Wait, what? How much power would I get? Six. So wait, I can just keep upgrading this until the end of time? The fuck? Like the weirdest thing ever, but sure. Uh, I, I'm willing to roll with it. Let's get two of these fuckers on this. Alright. No items currently in the build queue. What can I make even here? Absolutely fucking nothing. Alright. Get the fuck off here, Ricardo. Dumbass. Alright. Wow, what? I can... Apparently, I, that can only have three, but this can only have two people. Alright, what will Ricardo do so he's not useless? I don't know. Probably nothing. Fine, go over here, Ricardo. Ricardo's like the dumb person. Alright. I'm good with that. Probably, I, I probably should do this one, but even then, it's like this is fucking practically worthless to me. All right, let's continue making contact, fellas. I, I, I guess we just like, this is North Korea as well. I mean, that is kind of East Asia, but whatever. Not really though. Actually, I don't think we can even do anything there. Long live the resistance. All right, we got 60 supplies. Oh no, there's India. Sorry, whoops. Dude, I don't know the fucking world at all. Dude, fuck the planet Earth. Okay, there's Indonesia. Alright, so let's build a fucking tower here. So what's what's the bonus if we do, like, the shit over down here? Can I scroll my fucking map? No? Okay, well, I guess I'll just deal with this. View targets. Alright, here we go. So, what do we want to do? We've got 85 intel on that. Fucking scientist for the armor, which is worthless to me, or uh, preventing that thing and getting engineer. I think I think we want the engineer to be honest. Can I scroll my map, or is this thing an asshole? Oh, there we go. Okay, I have to hold the mouse button down. All right, what's this thing do? Armed in teeth. All primer weapons gain an additional upgrade slot. Oh, that's kind of nice, actually. I I I could go for that. I want to build this radio thing relay so we can get more fucking power on the Avenger, though. What's future combat? All GTS combat co Oh, shit. Maybe I should have fucking went over here before I did all the fucking... I, I, like, I got, like, a shit ton of upgrades, and apparently I could have, like, decreased the cost by 50%. But fuck you. I don't care. Fine. All right. God damn, this is like an hour-long episode. I'm going to split it again. People are going to get upset that I split it. I split it because of content ID matching. I, like, legit, actually. Because it's like fucking... If it matches some random shit, which it sometimes does in these videos, like, they plaster, like, mid-roll ads and all kinds of other fucking shit all over the videos, which is why I split them up like I do. Because it's actually pissed me off more than once. Because they don't own it, but then they have some kind of bot to basically, like, automatically refute it, and then, like, I get strikes against my YouTube account. It's YouTube's States. bullshit, basically. Content ID, content ID sucks, you know. 
I mean, if God ID ID worked in a way where it's like, yeah, I don't know, whatever. I'm not gonna bitch about this because it's like whatever. Anyways, yeah. So that is the end. We will do things in Western U.S. And remember, guys, we will be watching. <laughs>